Hello fellas, 265 Chevy again. I'm in the attic. And um a lot of sheetrock's being done. I'm putting the attic floor back together. Well, I got this all back together. All the way up to right here. So Today I'm going to work on this. goes all the way back to the front. So, you know, you got to pull nails. You got to trim. And at the same time, you know, it's a pole that I put in. I don't know if y'all can see that. There you go. It's a pole that I put in so I can run the, the, the wires. Cat 6 wires to the TV from the other room. That pulls uh, so the wires can go down to the electrical box. So, uh, you know, I run each, each circuit to there. Then it runs down to the electrical box. But, um, I gotta put all this back together. And while I'm putting it all back together, I clean it all up. After I'm finished putting all the floor down, I'll sweep it all up, vacuum it. And then uh, try to get this thing organized to, there's a lot of work that's going to go up here. You know, I know y'all know that I'm going to put a floor on these beams. Um, that's just going to be little by little when I have time. When You know, other than I say when the floor is being done, I can work up here. I'm going to put two, uh, plywood on that back wall so I can put shelving on it. And this is really going to become like a... A storage mini, a little mini workshop, you know, because uh, during the winter it's very comfortable up here. During the summer it's unbearable. It's easier just to work downstairs. But you got to know where everything's at. You know, so you got to eliminate a lot of your junk, get rid of a lot of stuff, things you're not going to keep, things that you want to keep, you know, then um, and you're not going to use for a while. You got to have a place to put them. So you got to. You got to think a little bit ahead and uh, build storage for it and stuff like that. So um, that's what I'm attempting to do. This is all my Chevelle parts and Firebird parts. And you, know, and you got to be able to spread that out if you want to put the car back together. and and um, So you can find everything. The worst part about trying to do a project is when you can't find the parts that you need. So, this is what I'm doing. I'll give you a little video report after, you know, my main goal for today is to finish this section right here. If I get any further, great. If I don't, then it'll just be another day. But, um, so far I got all that done. Um, it's nailed and it's solid. I'm going to build me a nice little workbench up here. The bench that I had actually broke. It was actually a table. But um, got rid of that, so I need something else to uh, to put stuff on and work on. So uh, you know, I'll get that done. But let me get to work, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Hey fellas, two sixty five Chevy here. Just one big old ass house. All right, today is January seventeenth. 2016. All right, kind of give you what's been going on. You can see, got some sheetrock up. I got the doors all primed. First coat of prom. That's what that that's gonna look like. I didn't, um, didn't flat tape it, you know, I'd rather just look, look a little more commercial, like a, um, like a plastic bead. Uh, my last video was about, I think it was December 15th, so it's been about a month. You know, they've been here for about three, four days. 
think they're going to finish up Tuesday or Wednesday, and this will be done. The next thing is going to be um, putting up the crown molding all the way around. Filling, caulking, sanding, another coat of primer. Probably going to tint it half, half of the color. Paint the ceilings, paint the walls. And then uh, seal the the fireplace. Then get the floors done. And then um, oh yeah, hook up all the electrical. Hook all that up. Make sure it all works. Clean out all the boxes. Put some new paper down. I'll tell you what, this was a godsend. I'm glad I put this paper down. Um, and do all that. Go buy the light fixtures. Hook up those three pendant lights. But um, she's looking good. Yeah, she's looking good. A long time coming getting to this point starting to feel like we're getting a room back I guess it's like you know I guess you could say it's the the first coat of primer on your car on your project I guess that's how I'd feel you know, knowing that uh, every little bit more you do the closer to you you end to your project but um it's a good feeling but um also been um, I've been working up in the attic um, you know I mean y'all seen that the video I'll post that in front I never really got up there it's 10 o'clock in the morning I do see a little crack right there though oh it ain't a yeah, there you go there is a little crack I have to let them know about that but this is really only the, it's like one and a half coats of uh, mud on here. You know, they're not, uh, we got some more, more to do. That's pretty smooth. The only thing I've really found is in this wall right here. Oh, hold on, let me back up. The wall that has, I'm going to turn on these lights. The wall that has a stove on it, where the, um, the pot filler is, which is right there, it's got a bow in it. The only wall, every other wall is pretty straight. I made sure they were straight, but I messed up on that one. It's got a bow, it's got a valley right up on both sides. There's a stud here on this side and on this side. It's about, an, I'm gonna say an eighth of an inch out. So, Now I'm pretty sure that the cabinet people, they've dealt with a lot worse. But I'm a little disappointed because, um, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't put a plumb line on that wall. You know, um, I checked it with a level, everything, see, it, it all straight up and down. From, from side to side, it's, it's got a, a slight bow and you can kind of see it. Now what I think after the cabinets, because you got 36 inch cabinets that goes up and then you got 18 inch of wall, which is your backsplash. And then from there, you're gonna have 42 inch cabinets that's gonna go up. So that's pretty much gonna take up predominantly all the way up to like the middle of the transit. Then you'll have a crown to go. So you really don't have that much wall on top of it. So I don't think you're gonna be able you know, it's going to be an optical illusion. 
I mean, I know it's there, but it's not gonna, um, I don't think it's really gonna show. But you're definitely gonna have to put filler, and you're gonna have to fur out the, uh, you're gonna have to fur out um, the cabinets a little bit. So it ain't perfectly straight, but that wall, that wall is completely straight. So that'll work. And, um, but, um, got the, the windows work, got all that done. You know, there you go, all of them, nice and easy. I feel the outside. Um, you know, got new sash cords. So that's done. So now it's just pretty much um, priming and painting and um, took up the, the piece of wood underneath here, you know, to, um, to put the sheetrock all the way underneath the, the base of the window and I'll put the piece of wood back and I think it'll look better. Plus, you know, uh, I can put some uh, insulation around the window to seal it. So. Um, coming along. I think it's really going to look nice. Uh, we, we decided on like a seven inch crown, a two piece that we're going to put in ourselves. Um, yeah, so that, that should definitely give it a lot of flair. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show y'all. Uh, next thing they're going to do is Monday sand some more and then you know, put some more mud on it, finish it off, and then they're gonna put the first coat of primer. So the next time you get a video of it, it'll all be in primer. You know, I'm gonna go with a Sherman Williams um, wallboard primer. It's kind of thick. This is a level four finish. Don't want a level five. You don't really need to be that smooth because it's gonna have a, I want a roller texture. So there's no texture that's gonna go in there. It's going to be what, what the roller puts on. It's going to go with a flat. I know most people with a kitchen says you got to go with an eggshell. But, you know, technology nowadays with the vents and everything underneath the stove and just my stove that I'm getting has a vent in it also. So that's really where you need the eggshell. And you tell me how many of y'all climb up on a ladder and wipe down your walls. It don't happen. So, I mean, all around the kitchen area, not from like the olden days, you never had backsplashes and stuff like that. And all this is going to be black splash, has a backsplash, it's going to have granite, you know, so all that can be clean. The rest of the, the rest of the room, the dining room is going to go here. <clears throat> you know, I mean, it's just basic traffic and stuff like that. So, if the walls get dirty, you know what everybody does. They just put another coat of paint on it. So, uh, don't want to make it too long, so I'm going to add another, another part of the video to it. Show you what I'm doing upstairs. But, um, you know, the mud's still drying from yesterday. It's a little cool here. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, fellas, 265 Chevy here. There's one big old ass house. Probably around 4.30 in the afternoon, quarter to five. Got all this part of the floor back in. Got it all cleaned up. And we have the rest of that to do. It'll be another day. Put all that, all those. And if you remember right, all this was from, uh, sorry about the darkness. All this was from, uh, had to rip up the floorboard so I can, uh, wire the back part of the house so, uh, so I can run wires down the wall without tearing out the inside walls and fish it down and then hook it all up and then get the electrician to, to inspect it so everything passed and it all looks good and, and uh, you know so now it's uh, putting it all back down so uh, all this is done. All over there is done. So it's a dirty job. 
but as long it ain't as hot. I remember when I pulled all this up, it was in the middle of summer, probably like 100 degrees up here. So, but I told you I would give y'all an update. Um, you know, told you I would video it or whatever. I gotta cut some pieces of wood and scab it onto it so they have something to nail to. And of course, I got a lot of a lot of lumber left from uh, from the scaffold that I built and had to take down. So um, that's about it. I'm gonna go down and eat, take a shower, sit down, watch some of y'all YouTube videos, and post this up. So y'all have a good one. There's gonna be a lot of stuff I'm gonna take out of here, throw it away. Time for another purge. Little by little, though. Later.